Start by standing directly over the dumbbell. Take a deep breath, flare the lats, and get as tight as possible. Grip the dumbbell in the middle of the handle with the hand of the arm you will press with. Firmly cup your opposite hand around the pressing hand. Slightly pick up the dumbbell and swing it back between your legs to gain momentum. Keep it close to your body and continue with the momentum by swinging it up to your shoulder using both hands. You want to position the dumbbell on your trap near your neck. Take your time finding a comfortable position and use the opposite hand to help support the weight and get the dumbbell into the right position. You want to have a medium stance and for some it helps to have your feet in a very slight split stance for more stability. You want to shift most of your weight to the opposite leg of where the dumbbell is so if you are pressing with your right arm you want the weight to be shifted on your left leg. This helps put the awkward circus dumbbell over the center of your body and will improve stability and leg drive. Once you have a comfortable position, take your opposite hand off the dumbbell and put it straight out to help with stability. Look where you want the dumbbell to go and focus on one spot. It helps to focus and watch the dumbbell go where you want it to go. If you look straight ahead and throw this awkward dumbbell up in the air, it's easy to feel lost, then you lose control and you can't stabilize the lockout. The circus dumbbell is more of a jump and catch. You want to dip down slightly, forcing your elbow high the entire time, and explode up from the quads onto the balls of your feet and hopefully even leave the ground. Focus on pressing the dumbbell to your opposite shoulder as you do not want to press it out to the side and out in front of you. This is a lift that is very hard to save once it is out of the right path. By thinking about pressing the dumbbell to the opposite shoulder, it keeps your center of balance. Once you jump, you want to dip under the dumbbell and catch it, then press up into the dumbbell, making sure to stabilize it as you stand back up. 